very, very pleasing to see 72, Glenn Billing up against number 17, uh, Russ Cowley. We're going to get underway. Karna just told to get the right side of the red line. And, uh, well, we've got a hockey game straight down the middle. And Jordan Marr called into action within eight seconds as the puck comes straight up the gut. Three grey jerseys in the Phantom zone and Glenn Billing gets a stick on the puck and the Phantoms within the first 15 seconds find themselves under a little bit of pressure. Now Norton goes around the corner and uh, in the Phantoms D zone now good work there by, well I was going to praise the play by the Milton Keynes player but uh, Robbie Ferrara did well. Shot! Oh, what a start! Stepanek! Block aside, I think that was. Good work in the corner. Comes to Stepanek, who controls it. Well, um, I think Lord A will want that back. Yeah, he'll want it back, but Ben Russell was stood right in his eye line, and usually Stepanek tries to rifle it, but just just casually just put it into the corner there, and that's a, that's a great start for Phantoms. What was interesting for the goal for me, Kovar was doing really, really well in the corner in the Phantoms D zone. Robbie Ferrara beat him, played the puck forward and the Phantoms built from there. Yeah. Phantoms attacking the end where there's an absolute bumper crowd of travelling MK fans. Wrap round. Goal! Stefan X got a brace within two and a half minutes. Phantoms lead by two, the wraparound to Stepanek, the one-timer, Lord Ace left a great big gaping cage and the Phantoms get it in the net for the second time in this period. What a start. Yeah, it was there, obviously, Matt Fierson's in the corner there. Oh, he's not picked his man up and Stepanek's wide up and two guys at MK just puck watching and it's uh, in the back of the net and in this league, if you puck watch, you're going to get you're going to get killed and that was a a bad defensive zone coverage from the MLK Lightning. Norton in plenty of space on the blue line, he waits. It'll be a difficult pass from there from Padalek. Oh, it stopped! Oh, that's a great save! And uh, the net off its moorings again. Wasn't done. Taken well by uh, Ferguson again. It's pad save. Should be a goal, it is. Number 30 looks like Robin Kovar. And by my reckoning, that's something like Kovar's 13th goal in 10 games. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And in the end, MK prevail. Yeah, it's how we had our, our fourth line, our young kids against their top line. And we just we didn't have the strength really to get the puck out. And obviously it was telling for that. 45 seconds, that was just camped in our end. But like I said, the kids have done really well so far, but probably just a bit of a line match there that just caught us out. Off the frame of the goal, just wide. Two on one, great pass, great goal. What a finish that is. Lee Jameson, who couldn't do that for the Phantoms in a year but I'm not sure that a pass of that quality was given to him in that season. What a great goal. Yeah, it was great. It stayed wide and obviously we had a few young kids again They were just puck watching and he went straight down. Uncaught, I think it was uh, I think it was Jarvis or uh, Ross Clark on the other side didn't, didn't track him back and it was a, it was a great shot and it's a, it's a top quality finish. Phantoms win the draw in the neutral zone. Chance. Oh, what a save! Call 999! There's been a robbery. Stepanek, who's got a brace already, collects. Oh. Fired in, it's, it's pad save from Lord A. Puck's bouncing, and uh, Phantoms win it back. It's a good play. Um, oh, dear. Corey McEwen had a couple of bites of the cherry. Good pressure from the Phantoms. Really could do with a goal. Puck's in front of Lorde. Oh, here we go. Kale Tanaka. Shot. Oh! 
And it's uh, Karna who completes the turnaround. So a crowd scene in front of uh, Jordan Mark. And uh, he would have seen that very late. Let's see the replay. Yeah, so... Uh, Tanaka, sorry, Karna hits it first time. And there's a phantom taking Jordan Mars' eyes away completely. Yeah, exactly the same as our, fir our first goal against them. But like I say, like I said a minute ago, they're just trying to hold our two lines and they're trying to score against our third and fourth line. And to be fair, they've got three goals against that them two lines now. Chance. Billing. Well, the Phantoms can't ask to, for too much more. <laughs> yes! There you go! Phantoms with the even strength goal. The leveller. End of the power play. Constant pressure for the last 30 seconds or so. Norton down to, was it Padalek? Padalek takes the touch and rifles it in. Bantam's tied up. And uh, we've got two minutes and 26 seconds. I was just to say before the goal, there's not much more that the Phantoms could have done other than score. And uh, Jameson. Oh, that's great play. Oh, it's given away. Russell Cowley shoots and scores. So the Phantoms do so well in defence and then turn it over in the slot. And who's it for to but Russell Cowley? Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's obviously a basic mistake. He's never made that cross ice pass in your own zone through the middle. And obviously MK didn't have Ross there. They had two other guys. They had three guys in the high slot. And uh, Tetlow was mad with himself there. He just tried to make that good crisp pass and it's never going to happen. Row on Twitter's come on MK, keep it up. Oh, that's it. Great goal. The uh, visitors lead by two. Ferguson with the goal. No net minor in the Phantoms goal. 128 remaining. Easy this, Steve. Win the face off and shoot it from the point. <laughs> there you go. 6 3. Phantoms uh, going to lose at home. It's not gone on the board yet. To be fair, I think the sign of Kovar and Liam Stewart, but to be fair, I think Kovar's probably been the best player on the ice tonight. He's worked really hard. He's, he's done what, an import, what your import wants to do, and he's worked, he's worked his bag off. And it's a disappointing, but we'll, we'll, we'll bounce back, and we've just got to keep going. Man of match for the Phantoms then. Spanik's man of the match for the Phantoms. All that remains is for me to uh, wish the MK players and uh, coaching staff and of course that big band of travelling supporters a safe journey back to uh, Milton Keynes. Thank, thank them very much for joining us and creating a great atmosphere. Phantoms are at home on uh, Sunday, the 5th of January, against uh, the Telford Tigers. The face-off time is 5.30. And if you can't join us in the rink, we'd be very grateful if you joined us online. So the Phantoms get off uh, the new year, 2020, off to a, a, a defeat at home. 
but they regroup, go again next weekend. So uh, if we can't see you in the room, we'll see you then. See you on Sunday.